in the heart of Midtown Manhattan. You listen to Rock Chicks Live, and this is Frankie Russo coming at you. Okay, I got a great show for you tonight, as always. Uh, call ins 877-242-8212 if you got the guts to call me. Offline 718-209-3746. Facebook me, Frankie Russo Ladies. Twitter, Frankie Russo. I'm going to go through the whole thing, okay? Skype, chat about it. <laughs> call us. Subscribe for free iTunes on iTunes. And we got a new website called rockchicks.com. And we got bloggers. Rockchicksrock.com. That's right. You, <laughs> rockchicksrock.com. <laughs> Thanks, thanks, Gloria. <laughs> and you're blogging. Uh, not only are you here with us, but you're blogging as well, right? Yeah, every Wednesday I got a new blog posted up on the website. I'm telling you. And what was the, the title of the, the one that we got right now? What was it called again? I did one, Less is More. Right. And then I did the next he one. He Likes Me, He Likes he Me likes Not. Me, he Likes Me, He Likes Me Not. Um, okay, you I think about it. I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. It was, a, it was it's something like an, a new way of thinking, a, a new approach okay. to an old way of thinking. Okay, sounds beautiful. We'll, we'll talk about that later. We got uh, uh, just go on the site. Absolutely, rockchicksrock.com. Also, understand, uh, Kitty Cat Lindsay's not here. Could we get a little kitty uh, going on? Yeah, you know the girl's not here. She's our regular. She usually sits next to me. Gloria's got the spot tonight. Lucky Gloria. Uh, all right. <laughs> kitty Cat starring. She's starring in the uh, shelter. Presents Motel, a series of short plays, and it's at under St. Mark's, 94th Street in St. Mark's Place. You understand? So you got to go there. It's Saturday. Because <laughs> Frankie seven, said so. That's right. Sunday, Saturday, uh, this Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. Tickets are 12.50, and you, you can also get online at Theater Mania at 212-352-3101. Now listen, everybody, you got to get out there and support my girl, okay? She's on Rock Chicks over here, mm-hmm. so we support, mm-hmm. right, Jean? We sure do. Okay, very good. So we got we got Gloria. We got our spotlight artist. We're going to have her on after the first break. Brianna Leon. She hails from Tulsa, Oklahoma. She's a, a cowgirl turned city chick. Mm-hmm. Very She's all over the city now. I'm telling you, I like that. She is all over the city, G. You're right. Okay. Also, just a little heads up. Uh, we got Julie Hannes. She's going to be calling in later. And we're gonna doing a, we're gonna be doing a little astrology thing with Brianna. Oh, so it's the, we get to know you very personally tonight. <laughs> exactly. So it's gonna be very cool. Also, you know, hey, it's been a crazy week for me. You know, what's been going on with you, Frank? Well, you know, with the show and everything like that. So I tried to take a little break, like a movie thing. Mm-hmm. You know. So I looked at some movies. I saw Russell Crowe doing Adventures of Robin Hood. Mm-hmm. How was it? I heard I, it was I, so, I didn't so. see it. I, I saw the thing in the paper. Mm-hmm. So what I did was, because I, lo- I love classical movies, I went to the day. They, they were playing Earl Flynn's uh, Adventures of Robin Hood. Off the hook. Earl Flynn, uh, Charm and Charisma. Sounds like me. And uh, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and I got uh, Olivia de Holland. She she used to she started in uh, in Gone with the Wind with Vivian Lee. Mm-hmm. She's playing the romantic lead. She's glamorous in this one. So she the the scene is I'm going to give you the scene. Yeah, what this blew what my happens? Mind. The scene she she's in the room with with her with her girlfriend and they're talking about she just met Earl Flynn. She told how much she loves him and everything like that. I love all these things. And Earl Flynn now he's Robin Hood. So he's going through the thing trying to get his girl. So he climbs up the castle. Goes into the castle, goes through the window, pops Errol Flynn. <laughs> Errol Flynn's He pops there. Errol Flynn yeah, or he he's pops there. up on Errol Flynn? Exactly. He's ready to pop. She's talking <laughs> about how much she loves him. And she, he goes, I'm here. She goes, oh, you're here. She goes, I heard you love me. He said to her. She says, what are you talking about? I don't love you. He goes, oh, really? Okay, I'm leaving. Now, here's the dashing Errol Flynn. He's leaving. He goes, look, everybody out there wants to whack me. I'm Robin Hood, and I'm leaving now. She goes, no, 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 no. Don't go, she said. Please stay. I love you. Oh, he said, okay. She loves me. He got out, got anything. They kissed. So it was very romantic. Uh-huh. So I'm saying to myself, oh, what would happen if that was today? Oh, under the table, on the table, come here, biatch. Who's your daddy? Well, did he really Spanky say that Spank? in the movie? No, but, that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. That's what would happen today. Right or wrong? What's Where's the romance? Thank you. Know you? <laughs> I don't even know your name. I'm leaving now. We just had sex. Hey, no? that happens all the time. 
So, like, where's the romance? It's called one night stands. Like, gee, where's the romance, though? Well, it depends. But, you know, like... Not, not all occasions call for romance. Okay, that's an interesting point of view. But yeah. still, you know, like... When I think in this particular scene, mm-hmm. they were beyond like the like the, the you know like the hit, like the hit and hit and run scene. Right. I thought it was more There's like feelings involved. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so like you know, it, it's like, what's up with that? Like, where's the romance? Where's it? I mean, you know, I don't want you know I don't want to sound like you know a little light and not you know Frankie's not getting wishy over here. Just just get that straight. Frankie yeah, Rooster yeah, ain't getting yeah. wishy washy. You're now. seeing a real Frankie. Yeah. Come <laughs> no 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Russo Russo just keeps it real. So you know, it's like, hey, where's the romance though? I, I don't Wait, see. You think it. there's not enough romance now no. today? I don't think so. Mm, you gotta change that though. Well, you know, I'm talking about like in movie. Like I think movies are, ref- in a lot of instances, this is this Frankie Russo from Brooklyn's take. In a lot of instances, I think like you know, the movies are maybe like a reflection or some sort of reflection on, on what society is is, well, is yeah, what's going of on. So like you know. When, uh, I don't. I don't see like anything like very like wh- where where beauty is 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 something that's celebrated. Well, it's just more hit and run time. Yeah, hit, come on, come on, G. You know what's going well, on. Well, yeah, that's it, the sex it doesn't thing. have to be romance now. Romance isn't even. I don't know. It's like people take it for granted now. Romance is out old school. Yeah. Rose, or, or, or if it's okay. really really serious. Okay, so 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 we're keeping. Otherwise, people just take it. That's oh, it. Okay, very cool. So. We're keeping it real now. So, so G, you're saying that romance is old school? No, I don't think it's old school, well, but it's just, I don't know. Like, people now, they're, just, they're a lot more casual with things than back in the day. You know what I mean? Like, it's not looked down upon so much. But I'm not even saying that romance means you got to get married. I'm saying, you know, yeah. here's a flower, yeah. play the mariachis, and the girls in the terrace. <laughs> you know, that type of thing. <laughs> That's what so you anyway, do? are you romantic like that, Frankie Russo? You know, I'm. I'm a, you like I'm, to wine and dine, a girl. I'm charm and charisma, baby. You, I you, am charm. You like to? I do. You like I to? Do. I do. But I didn't even ask you yet. I do. <laughs> I am. I like to wine and dine. I'm a charm. I'm a. You like to to light the candles? I and do. Lead, you no. do that stuff? I do. You lay the rose yeah. petals? Oh. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. You got me all wrong. You got me all wait, 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 wait. I gotta qualify this. You said what I do. Mean, what do you mean rose petal? I mean I like candles. I like candles. When I when yeah, I Yeah, you like I, candles and you lay the rose petals on a bed. Well when I when I when I had when I had and a significant And you caress her hair. No, I didn't do that. When I had a when I had a significant chick. Very shampoo in her hair. I don't have a significant chick now, but when I had a significant chick, I used to write like candles. I mean, I like that stuff. You know, I give a massage. Yeah, but it's not all the but, time that you do that, right? No, no, not at all. I got to right, really like so it. Depends. <laughs> exactly. Frankie's like, sometimes I get it in. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, enough mm. about Frankie Russo. So what's going on, Jay? Oh, nothing's going on. I was I was online earlier, mm-hmm. and I was reading up on some, some of the latest gossip this week. And I read that Tiger Woods' wife, well, ex-wife, is now... Um, she's asking for seven hundred and fifty million dollars, which is a lot. I mean, it's it's not a lot for him, I guess. Seven fifty mil. Seven fifty mil, See, and she's about. asking for full custody of the kids. That's what I'm talking about. That's and crazy. She, when they when they asked her, you know, keep it quiet right. and stuff. Don't write books. Don't do interviews about this. She said no. So she could do whatever the hell she wants, basically. So don't mess with Swedish women. <laughs> that's crazy. Seven hundred and fifty million dollars. You know, I keep telling my buddies, a lot of my friends, you know, they you know, they they, they make a lot of money and stuff and mm-hmm. I tell them, you know, keep it you know, keep it in the in the family, bro. Don't stray out, my brother. <laughs> I tell them all the time. You're gonna lose half of your stuff. I'm telling you, these guys got these guys are pretty they you know take the money and run. Yeah. I mm-hmm. said, Bro, don't get married. You gotta do like you gotta do if like. They know they're gonna do something wrong, especially too. Absolutely, you gotta oh, do like Derek Jeter did. He, Derek Jeter said, "Listen, bro, I'm I'm single. Mm-hmm. When he gets married, he's married. He's single. He's single. Where's the romance? Where's the exactly? And where's the romance? That's you know, where is it? It's it's no fun anymore. It's like a quick you know. But anyway, I don't want to get into that. But <laughs> he doesn't want to do quickies right now. He's not in the quickie mood can right we, now. Can we cut to a little break? When we come back, we're going to have Brianna Leon with us. We're going to do a little more talking about what's going on. We're going to talk about Brianna Leon's poster, among other things. Yes. And that cat right suit she's here. wearing. And Rock Chicks Live, baby. Frankie Russo. Hey, chataboutit.com. 